starting and we're on. Are we live? We're live. Jerry, are we live? We are live. Oh, well, you know, I just had to put my lips on for a minute. So, um, I'm Renee King Sonnen, founder of Rowdy Girl Sanctuary and the Rancher Advocacy Program. And uh, y'all, in between, you know, taking care of all the animals at Rowdy Girl Sanctuary, we have 63 bovine, bovine for those of you that don't know, are cows, steer, bulls, bull calves, all that, okay? They're heifers. Bovine is what you define the cows. We have 63 of them. And we have pigs, we have hogs, we have goats, we have chickens, we have roosters, we have turkey in the house. Donkeys. <sighs> donkeys. We have donkeys. And so today, today, you can stay up a little bit. Today we're going to actually be stepping outside of what we do, you know, out there in animal care. Outside of what we do to help transition farms, we got three farms, one in Wicks, Arkansas, the Barrett Family Farm, one in Getting Sexes, Star Love, and one in Huntsville, the amazing trailers. So aside from all that, we are going to bake some cookies today, and this is what they look like. So you're going to see actually what's going to come out of the oven is that. We had to make sure that we knew what the heck we were doing before we started. So today we are going to make salted chocolate chip and walnut vegan cookies. And everything is bigger in Texas, including these amazing cookies. And they're so good. Hmm. Here. So, I know a lot of you are used to, uh, you know, trying it at the end. But we wanted to try it at the beginning so we could make sure it was going to be good for all y'all out there. <laughs> so, anyway. So, Tom had a question. Do y'all allow your bovine in the kitchen? Oh, yes. Any day, if they can fit. <laughs> we have turkeys in the kitchen. Yeah. All right. So let's get started. All right, so Tommy's gonna eat all the cookies now. All right, so we've got our large baking sheet lined with parchment paper right here. These cookies are very big. So because they're very big, um, you know, they're really like great big balls, we're gonna put about nine of them on there. I think that's about all that'll fit. But uh, that's ready to go. And we have done that. Our oven is preheated to 375 degrees. We do have some cookies in there that are going to be coming out here in a minute so we can show you how we do the sprinkles. We do have some silver and gold uh, sprinkles right here. Actually, we got these from, I got those because I wanted to be festive. And we use this brand right here in case you want to know the brand we use. Um, okay. So, getting ready in a large bow mixed together. Okay, large bow, Tommy. Go get me a large bow. Tommy is going to be my vampire. That means right now, hang on, baby. We're going to take some cookies out of the oven. Follow me, baby. Follow me around. Come on around here. We're fixing to take some cookies. Oh, my mm. goodness. Look at that. I hadn't even made the cookies yet, and they're done. <laughs> you think you love it when that happens. All right, so look at that. Now, let me show you what we're going to do. Just for a second, we're gonna put these here. Now we're gonna make these cookies, I promise. But we had to do it a little bit backwards to show y'all something so that you get the full effect. Where's my little masher? I had a masher somewhere. No, well, I can use that. Here, let me see that. So we'll just mash it down, kinda of like that right there. Don't knock them over. Don't knock them over, we're mashing. Okay, they're nice and, nice and hot. And I'm going to show you how to make these wonderful cookies here in just a moment. All right, and now then, Tommy, I'll give you the gold. I'll take the silver, and you just go behind me. Uh, you know, you put gold. Could you leave some with nothing on it? Huh? I don't, I don't want any on mine. Well, we'll do, we'll do that on the next batch, okay? Let's do all these here with everything on it. And then we'll do them the next batch. We'll make sure yours doesn't have any. Put, did you put plenty? And you know, you just, yeah, that's it. Okay, so these cookies are ready for your party. What's your, this made out of? Sugar. Okay. Yeah, it's vegan. It's all vegan. So look at that, y'all. Ain't that pretty? Oh, we got a picture of this, don't we? Okay, so Tommy, can you line me up some, uh, some um, towels right there so I can just lay this down right there, buddy? That would be awesome. One more. There we go. Perfect. 
All right, so those are there. And now we're going to make these cookies. We're going to pop some more in the oven and we'll be done. So I need that large bowl. Is that it? Yep. I need a big bowl. hot. But anyway, okay, so. <laughs> Good recovery. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> hey, it takes a whole lot to make him laugh. Get him on camera. Hurry. Come on, okay. right here. Get him laughing hard. It takes a whole lot to make this man <laughs> Recovery that, moment. That's what makes it so fun. You don't know what I'm drinking. No, you know what? Anybody that knows me knows I don't drink. Uh, all right, so thank goodness. Okay, we are going to have a, a, in a large bowl, mix together flour. Okay, I need the flour, Tommy. So right over here, no, baby, you just bring me those three bowls right there. Both, All three of those bowls, just set them right here. What I've done, y'all, is I've gone ahead and had everything ready to go so that it would be easy for me to just put all this together. So in this bowl right here, we have our flour, we have our baking soda, our baking powder, and our coarse fine sea salt, okay? That's what this is. And so I'm just gonna kind of stir that all together. Okay, leave that open. Tommy, leave that open. No, I'm gonna mix right here, I'm just thought. Okay. Yeah, that's why I did this. So if you would put those, uh, put those back right there. There you go, that's good. Okay, we're gonna put this right here. They train me one way. I know, I, I. <laughs> I decided, and we have a, such a small kitchen uh, until we get our other one, but you know, it is what it is. We're all good. It's all perfect. <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay, in a standing, here, in a large one. Now, what's it say the next thing to do? Just kind of help me. In a, in a what? Mix together flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Okay. Set aside. That's this. Now what? In a standing mixer fitted with a... Yeah, that's this one. We gotta do what? Here, you, you. He wants me to do it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put our cream butter, okay, in the refrigerator, baby. I have my butter and I have my, um, all that stuff in there. If you could just get the water off of that for me. Just, uh, if you wanna come look for right quick. Yeah, I just have my, uh, my vegan butter and also some vegan shortening. Uh, the vegan shortening I used is somewhere. Maybe it's in the refrigerator. And I'm just going to take a minute to answer a question. The page is RowdyGirlSanctuary.org and RancherAdvocacy.org. So thanks for asking about the websites. Yay! Yes! What else? Okay, there's... If you come on here a little closer and see. This is just the butter. This is the shortening. Is that shortening in there? I don't know where it went. I'll Somewhere I have a whole thing of shortening. I've lost a vegan shortening uh, pot. Okay, somewhere it's here. But I got that there. And the next step is we're going to cream all this together. Okay, this is what's going to be a whole lot of fun. We got our mixer book thing, mixer thingies right here, and we got this. Oh boy, Jerry. This one goes here. And this one goes here. Beautiful. Look okay, at that. All right, now we're going to start. Okay, can you hold that really good for me? Okay, so all I need to have is beating the butter. <laughs> I'm going to crank myself up in a minute. Okay, do we have anybody talking to us out there? We do. Betty Ann Cornwall said, why did you have the vegan butter in water? Well, I did that because I wanted to get cold water and I wanted it to stay nice and firm because these cookies, uh, before they go into the oven, they have to be refrigerated, so you want the actual oil-based ingredients to be really firm, and so that's why I did that. I didn't say to do that. That was just something I decided to do. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Do you want to get on the side here? Easier to operate. 
Okay, now then, anybody else have a question while I take a second? Uh, Kayla Helmer says, yay, food. And Tom asked if you have a blender dance. I have a blender dance. All right, here we go. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. All right, okay. There's no blender dance, just for the moment, okay. Oh. Add the sugars and beat for an additional one and a half minutes. Okay, the sugars. The sugars are... Here they are, Tommy, so... You got about ten hearts out of that dance for now. <laughs> okay, so now then I'll really give you a dance, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pour those in, Tommy. Just like that. Good. All right. Come on in, son. That's it. You know, one of the things I love about doing the cooking show on Jane Unchained is that there's so much, there's so much consistency and fun to cooking vegan food. Great plant-based food is so much fun, y'all. A lot of people think that, you know, cooking plant-based is boring, that all they're gonna eat is lettuce and tomatoes and pickles and onions uh, and jalapenos. But let me tell you, we eat. I mean, if you look at these cookies, we eat. This is vegan, y'all. This ain't grass, huh? But it is plant. Those are so good. Santa Claus is going to love having that cookie on his plate with his cup of vegan milk before he comes down the chimney or after he comes down the chimney. I should say. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're going to beat, beat it up real good. One and a half minutes are until well combined. That is very well combined. our butters, our sugars, everything right there, all nice and cream together. And now then, we are going to beat in the foamed aquafaba. I don't think we might, yeah, but we're going to show y'all how we do the aquafaba. Okay. How many of you have ever done aquafaba? Where you beat it up like meringue? Anybody? I don't think anybody. Come on! I, you know what? Well, I'll tell you, it was my first time today. And so what you do is you take your garbanzo beans like that. You take a can of garbanzo beans. You drain all the juice and save your beans for a, a nice pasta salad that I'll make today or tomorrow. And then you have your faba juice or your, or your garbanzo bean juice right in there. We're going to take six tablespoons of this. And Tommy, we've got to put it in a totally different bowl. So... If you would just kind of move that bowl over there, right there for a second, just put it right there, perfect. You have that right there. And then what we're gonna do is put six tablespoons of that in that bowl. I gotta clean these. Do you know how to eject this? Uh, you don't have to eject it, actually. Um, you can just pull them straight out. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I just bought this. I didn't have a mixture because it was in my storage building. Okay, so Tommy, if you could put six tablespoons right here, buddy. Yeah. Uh, of the fava, six tablespoons, right in there. And I'll do this. Linda Neal says, hi, Renee. Hi, who? Uh, Linda J. Neal. Okay. And yeah. Betty Ann wants really, to know. really big tablespoons, okay? Betty Ann wants to know if you need spatulas for Christmas. Who? Betty Ann Cornwall wants to know if you need spatulas for Christmas. I would love a spatula. Give me a couple. That's right. And I can shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. No. <laughs> oh, I missed that whole thing. I went back to Tommy and the aquafaba. Everything is in storage. Yes, everything that we own. We're in the process of moving still. <laughs> yeah, We're you building know. building a new house down the road here. You know, those of you that don't know, while I'm cleaning these, Rowdy Girl Sanctuary uh, has its origins in Angleton, Texas. That's where uh, my husband and I, you know, used to be, what? Well, he was the cattle rancher. I was the cattle rancher's wife that was a cattle rancher by proxy because I was married to him. I really wasn't a very good cattle rancher because I really didn't like doing any of that work until I went vegan. 
And now he can hardly keep me away from it, you know. I didn't want to open fences for him or help him with hay or, you know, I didn't want to get cow shit on my boots and get it in the house, you know. So all of that uh, changed, though, when I went vegan in October 31st of 2014. And when I went vegan and Tommy uh, was retiring from Dow Chemical, <clears throat> I tell you guys, it was not easy for us. It was the hardest time of our of our life during that time. But we made it through. Uh, we became a sanctuary. I bought my husband's cows. And I don't know if this is right. I think it must go the other way. Well, that one's in there. One will fit both, and the other one will just fit the one. Okay. Some things I do really well. This isn't one of them. I'm going to color code it. There you go. Anyway, we had to move to Welder because we've been flooded three times. The first time was in 2016. We had to evacuate some 80 some animals. Uh, the second time was in 2018 with Harvey, right? And 17. 17, and we skipped a year August in 18. 29. Yeah, that's for August 29th. You were so uh, and that was Harvey. We had to evacuate all these freaking flies coming in here. I tell you, when you got a bunch of cows out here in West Texas, you might as well just figure you're gonna have to get work. That was not right. That was <laughs> that was not the right thing to do. I <laughs> you gotta get Tommy when he's laughing. He hardly ever laughs. Okay, okay. So let me look at these. You know they make it really difficult. Jerry, I gotta look at the end and tell which one goes where. Yes, ma'am. And then line them up correctly. They'll, you'll hear a little pop when they're getting correctly. I think I did it. Okay, hold that. All right, come on in. I want you to see what I got. All right, I've got liquid, y'all. Pure liquid. Now we're gonna get with it. Let's go. Watch it go. Uh, 
Tom would like to see Tommy dance more with you. Tommy. I don't dance. <laughs> he does. If he if there's a snake in his foot, this man can dance. I've seen him. <laughs> hey, I've seen him go, woo, woo, woo. Copperhead, copperhead. Whoa, wait, not yet. Hang on. Add both sugars and add beat in aqua, beat in the foam aqua fava and vanilla. Wait, add both sugars and beat for an additional one and a half minutes. Beat in the foamed aquafaba and vanilla. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Let me get the vanilla right here. I'm using the Madagascar vanilla right there. All right, it calls for a teaspoon, about that much. I mean, it's vanilla, okay? All right, so here we go. How much? Well, you're gonna do all of it. Go ahead, put it all in there. Just so the people can see, Tommy, put your bow towards the camera. There you go, baby. That's it. Yeah, go ahead and get it all out of there. You want to tell them about the nicest thing about aquafaba? The nicest thing about aquafaba is it's made out of beans, right? It's not eggs. It's not chicken periods. So, eat. No, no. Yeah, just go ahead. There you go. And yep. don't stir it. Don't stir. Here, take that out of it. You're doing a great job, by the way. Okay, now we go ahead and shove it towards me. That's it. And you know, what I've learned uh, just from making this earlier, it was a it was a cherry tip. Not to go too fast on this. You're really just trying to incorporate the consistencies of the uh, the fava and uh, the the butters and all. Just trying to incorporate them. If you beat them too, too much, I think it may cause a problem. Hang on, not yet. We got the vanilla in there. Oh, uh oh. Okay, don't do that. Okay, stop. There we go. to know what sugars you're using. What sugars? Okay. I'm just using a light brown sugar. Um, just your traditional, you know, what is that? Simple, you know, light brown. And then a, I didn't use granulated white. I used a um, granulated brown, like a, what do you call that? Use the, did you use your cane sugar? You yeah, said? cane yeah. sugar, yeah. Oh, you've had a request to do live segments on Saturdays from the event. I did what? You have a request to do live segments on Saturday from the event. Oh, good. Well, we can do that. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Okay, so I think the rest of it we need to um, put in my hand, you think? What happens is this is going to begin to get very difficult to, um, to beat in. It gets very thick. And so... Okay, that's enough, Tommy. There's only a little bad. Yeah, 
Okay, let's just do this. Hang on a minute, Tommy. Hang on. Go ahead. Hang on, hang on. Not, not without, not without. Here. Where's that, uh, where's that wooden right spoon? Right beside you. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to use the wooden one, Tommy. So if you can take that wooden spoon right there and then use that, I'd appreciate it. You can beat all that up real good. You don't want it wet, though. Don't mess up the consistency. Okay, so Tommy's going to beat up the cookies with the, um, with his, with his, I'm trying to say his broomstick. He's beating up them cookies with his broomstick, y'all. All right. We've got, right here, we've got the chocolate chips and the uh, walnuts that are already chopped up, getting ready to go inside. And all I used there was, I used some of these chocolate chips right here. Okay, they're by Enjoy. And I also used, where's that bag at? Oh, I used this one. These are dark chocolate and they're not, they don't have any sugar in them. I mean, they're really good, actually. So I use a combination of the Enjoy and these, okay? And then organic raw walnuts. How's that coming? Good? I think it's ready. All right, so now then we're gonna do this, baby. Thank you so much. Okay, so Tommy is so helpful in the kitchen. I promise you, it is so awesome to have somebody that you're a partner with that likes, you know, doesn't mind helping you in the kitchen. Tommy has always been so good about chopping nuts, cutting things up. So all I'm gonna do right now is just put all of this in there, like that. Look at that. And then you just gotta make sure your hands are clean and you just squish it, squish it. Squish it good. This is the fun part, get on in here. Look at that, y'all. Yum, pure vegan delight right there, y'all. All vegan. Who needs to eat things that aren't, you know, ethically sourced? I mean, ethically sourced means that no animal anywhere has to suffer. Look around at Seely. Seely, don't you agree? Don't you agree, Seely Bud? That's right. Seely agrees. Seely is our house turkey. And those of you that, uh, Follow us. I uh, regularly know that we have a Sealy t-shirt that you can actually purchase off of our website. We also have Sealy placemats somewhere. Pick up that uh, that tray right there, Tommy. Right here. Just pick it. No, this tray right here. So you can see the Sealy placemat. That's Sealy. We only have a few. We have a very limited uh, supply of those that we made for the holidays this time. So we have a few of the t-shirts, but Seely is a real ambassador everywhere. Oh. All right, I think we're just about ready. Willie's ready, he's been sitting under the table gazing longingly at anybody who might give him a cookie. Ah. Now you always gotta do the taste test. Okay? Nope. Remember when you were not vegan and you used to make chocolate chip cookies with eggs and that gross stuff that goes in food that people use and it's like, oh my God, that is so gross. But I used to eat that raw. Oh my God, I can't believe I ever did it. All right. I don't want to call them chicken periods, but they are. I mean, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay, but we are talking about Cookies. All right, so, so there you go. So that's it. We're going to now take big balls, okay? Great big balls, and we're going to put it on our parchment paper. Because we're making great big cookies, you know? Sometimes, you know, you just got to be able to have big cookies. You know, who wants to always have these little petite little cookies around, you know, during the holidays? I mean, I know good and well that our folks are gonna love those. Right, Tommy? Right, and I'd like some that aren't squished without the... Uh, lip, you you know. want just the ball? No, out of the oven, don't squish them. Just out of the ball, just the balls? No, they're, they're cone-shaped. You want it like that? Yes, a nice thick cookie. All right, did you hear that? Tommy wants a nice thick cookie. 
with, with no crystals. No glitter. No glitter. You don't need any glitter. That's right. You shine fine just the way you are, baby. So we're, uh, oops, I got some, uh, any questions out there? Anybody got any questions for me while I'm making these balls? Kayla has a question. Who? Kayla, she wants to know, does the turkey come into the kitchen and ask for scraps like the puppies? Oh my God, Celie gets grapes every single day. Uh, she loves her organic grapes. They have to be cut in half. Uh, she gets her one slice of Dave's bread, Dave's killer bread every single morning. It's a must, as soon as she gets out of her roosting spot over there. She lives in the house with us. She roosts right there on the porch. And when she gets up, she is expecting her slice of Dave's killer bread, the good seed, the kind that's got all the seeds all over it. She loves it. And then she gets about 20 grapes. And then she goes into her little room area in there and she starts pecking away at her seeds and making all sorts of singing noises. She is a delightful, delightful addition to our family. We love her. And Tom says that Tommy looks hungry, so give him a bunch of cookies with no sugar on top. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. We will. We're going to make sure you get just what you want, baby. I promise. But don't those look, you know, I mean, when we first when we first um, did this earlier today, it was like we were worried that they were going to spread out and touch each other, weren't we? Mm -hmm. They don't. They cook up. You saw how they came out of the oven, right? So, yeah, they came out just like that. So... Here we go. Another big one. Waylon is waiting so patiently. Everybody wants a cookie, Renee. I wish I could come over here and have a cookie with us. Tommy, what are you doing? Show him that end result again. He's over there getting into cookies again. Tommy, use these over here. We're going to put those in cookie containers. I'm fixing to uh, show people what they can do for the holidays. You want to do that? You want to put them in the containers? No, I'll let you. Okay. That's what I was going to do with those. I think I'm about done here. You're done? I think so. Is Tommy done? Huh? Three o'clock. Oh, is it three o'clock? It is. It's three o'clock, but hey, they're okay with me to keep going. Absolutely. It doesn't matter. And Kayla, you can actually, you can use your chickpeas and separate out the liquid and store your liquid for the aquafaba in your refrigerator for up to 30 days. Yeah, it's really easy to do. It's very easy. Then you have your uh, your garbanzo beans to make your salad with. There you go. And just got a little bit left. So I just want to uh, be available for any last uh, minute questions. Y'all have seen the finished product. Beautiful. There it is. So I think these are going to be great Christmas uh, cookies to go on a nice platter. They're going in. And they, those can go in the oven, yes. Right. No, 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 no. Those have to go in the refrigerator. Oh, refrigerator. The, refrigerator. Yeah, they have to go in the fridge for 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, then set. that's the other step. Now then, you got to take these cookies and put them in the refrigerator outside for 30 minutes up to how many hours? Up to eight. Up to eight hours. So you just want to make sure your cookies, before you put them in the oven, are nice and firm and, and chilled. And then one last question. Sarah wants to know, how old is Rowdy Girl, the cow? Right, is that Sarah who? Sarah Siegel. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Rowdy Girl would be, let's see, me and Tommy have been married going on 11 years, so Rowdy Girl's about 10. She Fantastic. sure is. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to our uh, Rowdy Kitchen show on Jane Unchained. We love uh, being on the show. Thank you, Paige, for inviting us. And y'all keep it really rowdy. Have an amazing day. And maybe we'll see y'all this Saturday at our vegan holiday uh, cookie and recipe exchange. Peace out, guys. Come out for the hayride. Say bye, Waylon. <laughs>